Did you know that we have explored less than 5% of the world's oceans? In this video, we'll take you on a journey to the ocean depths where NASA is in search of new discoveries of marine life. From the discovery of new species to uncovering ancient underwater cities. Don't miss out on the chance to hear what NASA is doing to understand the wonders of the ocean depths and gain a new appreciation for the vast and mysterious world beneath the waves. Join us as we uncover the secrets of the deep sea. In 2018, NASA embarked on an ambitious mission to explore the vast depths of the ocean with their groundbreaking new probe. But why is the world's leading space agency venturing into underwater exploration? Well, it turns out that this challenging task demands the most cutting-edge technologies and knowledge available. So, what challenges is NASA gearing up to face deep under the sea? How can James Cameron help us find extraterrestrial life? And why does the ocean remain one of the most significant mysteries known to humankind? Let's start with the basics. How deep can a human dive into the ocean? While probes are a must when exploring outer space because we can't go there ourselves, the ocean presents a different story. Anyone can conduct their own ocean study by just diving into it, right? Wrong. A regular human with no special equipment can only go as deep as 6 meters. With a scuba set, they can go 40 meters down. Although there are free divers that can plunge 100 meters below sea level, it's still nothing compared to the formidable depth of the ocean. The first layer, called the epipelagic zone, is very far away from us, with its lower boundary lying at a depth of 200 meters. This is where sunlight can still penetrate and where phytoplankton and the fish that feed on it, along with predators like dolphins or sharks, can be found. But can a human get any deeper than this? The answer is yes. And the story of Ahmed Geber is a testament to this fact. Geber has broken the record for the deepest scuba dive at a stunning 332 meters, reaching the mesopelagic zone, also known as the midnight zone, which extends from 200 to 1,000 kilometers below the surface. Even the best military submarines can't go down this line, and the animals living there possess incredible features that have allowed them to adapt to semi-darkness, such as their big eyes and bioluminescence. What's more, this is where 90% of all fish can be found, around 10 billion tons, with the population of creepy cyclophone alone standing at one quadrillion fish. But this is just the tip of the iceberg, as deep sea trenches extend across many more kilometers and keep many secrets. What if we try to explore them? There are many challenges that NASA is facing as they gear up to explore the deepest and darkest corners of our planet's oceans. Get ready to dive into the unknown. Are you ready to take a deep dive into the mysterious depths of the ocean floor? The challenge of exploring the darkest and coldest regions of our planet's oceans is daunting, even for the most advanced submarines. But that hasn't stopped us from trying. The Mariana Trench, located in the western Pacific Ocean, is the deepest point on Earth, with a depth of 11,034 meters. It's so deep that the pressure at the bottom is 100 times higher than at the surface. To survive such an extreme environment, we need a special kind of watercraft. One such vessel is the Deep Sea Challenger, famously used by Oscar-winning director James Cameron in 2012 to reach the Challenger Deep of the Mariana Trench. Prior to this, the only piloted submersible to reach the ocean floor was the Trieste in 1960. But what about the deepest region of the ocean known as the Haddle Zone, which stretches from 6 kilometers down to the bottom of oceanic trenches? This is where life forms that have adapted to such a hostile environment reside, creatures that look like something out of a science fiction movie. Take for instance the disco jellies, snailfish, and ophidian fish which resemble water dragons turned inside out. To study these fascinating creatures, scientists use modern and remotely controlled vehicles that can descend to the maximum depths and stay there for a long time. However, even these vehicles can fail to withstand the severe conditions specific to the ocean floor, making it even more dangerous than outer space. In 2014, the Nereus, a watercraft designed for deep-sea missions, was torn apart at a depth of around 10 kilometers 
in the Kamadic Trench. This setback caused a long hiatus in related studies and stalled progress. It seems that we've bitten off more than we can chew. But the ocean remains an interesting mystery that we're determined to unravel. There are other oceans in the world, each with their own unique secrets and challenges. Who knows what kind of incredible discoveries await us as we continue to explore the depths of our planet's latest frontier. Exploring the vast oceans of space has been a long-standing ambition of humanity, but the depths of these extraterrestrial bodies have proven to be far more mysterious than we ever imagined. Take Europa, for example, one of Jupiter's icy satellites. Scientists have found that beneath its surface, an ocean lurks, a subterranean world that could harbor life. The thickness of Europa's icy layer is staggering, measuring between 15 to 25 kilometers, and the ocean beneath it is estimated to be between 60 to 150 kilometers deep. While it's fascinating to think that life could exist in such an extreme environment, the challenges to exploring it are immense. The only way to reach the bottom of Europa's ocean is through a deep diving spacecraft designed specifically for the mission. Enceladus, another icy satellite orbiting Saturn, has similar mysteries to unravel. Although steam jets have been detected emanating from the satellite's poles, revealing the existence of water, a probe like Nereus would be needed to explore its oceans, which are estimated to be around 30 kilometers deep. The sheer depth of these extraterrestrial oceans is mind-boggling, making even James Cameron's deep-sea expedition seem like a cakewalk. With NASA now practicing deep diving on Earth, we can only hope that we will one day discover what secrets lie within these alien waters. Who knows what kind of life could be thriving down there? Perhaps something similar to the deep water creatures that exist on our planet. Or maybe something beyond our wildest imaginations. Only time will tell. Are you curious about the mysterious ocean pits that lie deep beneath our planet's waters? Despite years of exploration and discovery, around 80% of the ocean remains unexplored, leaving us to wonder what secrets lie hidden in the midnight zone and the abyss. But fear not, because NASA has come up with an exciting solution to unravel the mysteries of the deep sea. Say hello to Orpheus, an underwater drone that promises to revolutionize ocean exploration. Equipped with high-sensitivity cameras and sensors from the Perseverance Mars rover, Orpheus can create 3D maps of the ocean floor, examine rocks, shells, and even living organisms. And with its powerful flashlights, it can take high-quality pictures while saving energy at the same time. But don't let its small size fool you. This 250-kilogram drone is made of syntactic foam, a durable, floating composite material filled with teeny glass beads. And the best part? Many of the details for Orpheus were inspired by the bathyscaphe used by James Cameron to explore the Mariana Trench. So get ready to witness the discovery of mysterious creatures that were previously unknown to us. Who knows what lies hidden in the obscure world of the ocean depths? Perhaps a giant prehistoric shark that crashes our probes? Or maybe the fabled citizens of Atlantis, who are angry about our machines polluting their secret city? Or could it be aliens doing their best to stay unnoticed? The possibilities are endless, and with Orpheus leading the way, we're about to find out. What do you think? If you could travel to the ocean depths, would you? Let us know in the comments. And if you enjoyed the video, please like, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to hit the notification bell to be notified each time we release a new video. You could also check out the next video on your screen. See you there.